Thanks for joining this session. Like, uh, I didn't expect so many people. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, as Claudia in the previous session mentioned, uh, it was session with uh, about emotions. This session, it will be also connected with that. It is a personal journey that I had like during uh, my work on Wikipedia, but also not uh, just on Wikipedia, but uh, with, uh, with uh, my hobby, with uh, my cycling and my wife in general. So we, we, you will see like some private images, maybe like uh, in the terms of like changes in my uh, weight. Uh, so you will be <laughs> like surprised. Uh, I'm uh, in the session. I will not speak about my journey that I took the, with, the, uh, with my bicycle from Skopje to Katowice, as you maybe uh, already hear or see on the various uh, Wikimedia Foundation channels uh, that they provided uh, that I arrived here with my bike uh, because I don't have time <laughs> to do that like uh, to do that like in uh, in this presentation. Uh, so first, uh, uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a Wikipedian from 2010, um, one of the like admins on Macedonian Wikipedia. I created uh, more than 10,000 articles uh, on Macedonian Wikipedia, which is maybe around 8% of the total size of the Macedonian Wikipedia. And I started in uh, when I started, it was like creating articles about Germany, uh, where I visited for the first time in 2010, and uh, I looking, uh, I was looking for Freiburg that I visited, like a city, and I was like, okay, it is only one sentence on Macedonian Wikipedia. Why is that? So I tried to uh, like add more information on Macedonian uh, for Freiburg. And uh, then uh, I just continue creating new articles, editing, and uh, I just loved uh, Wikipedia afterwards. Uh, so basically, it is like uh, I, uh, from just that one article, I started uh, uh, doing more and more on Wikipedia. Uh, so how I started uh, uh, with cycling? So this is a good uh, uh, story that I had. Uh, I, I was just writing articles. I was quite interested into watching cycling races on Eurosport. And it was quite good for me, like Tour de France, like seeing all of these like, new, like good landscapes, riders and everything. And I was worked there like uh, as a student, uh, student like job in Germany because like we had like a, during the faculty this uh, option to go in another country to work and I worked in McDonald's, so it was quite <laughs> uh, like uh, uh, exhausting job. But uh, that job like uh, provide me like uh, and uh, like provide me like to lose my weight. And you will see why I mentioned this. I was uh, more than thirty kilograms more than this one like right here <laughs> that you see. So you will see on another image like uh, how I looked and how I how I was, uh, and uh, that gives me like uh, like looking that like and writing articles uh, gives me idea. Okay, I now have money. I will bike a uh, bicycle. So that was I just uh, decide like writing articles on Wikipedia. Gives me idea to to like uh, to buy and uh, to purchase a uh, bicycle. This is me, 2013 and 2018. Like a difference in the passports, so it gives you an idea like how I was, how I, I am. Uh, so that was before and after cycling. <laughs> I, I am not uh, giving like this is not motivation now to start like uh, cycling, <laughs> just uh, like uh, as I said, it's a per personal story. And uh, at the beginning, uh, yeah, I started to to cycle and I I, I cycle a lot, but 
I didn't uh, upload any like uh, image that I took on the commas, which I took regular. Like uh, like it was like uh, some of the reasons why I liked uh, cycling in the first place is that that I like landscapes, uh, the, the nature that I saw, the villages that I visited. It was like a option how how you can uh, like see those things. So th that's why uh, I uh, like uh, from the beginning is the enjoyment that I I I, uh, I have in uh, during uh, during the cycling. So uh, later it is like uh, thanks to Kirill who is here. Like uh, he invited me. I was just an editor. He invited me. Okay, it is uh, first C meeting in Belgrade, and I didn't know what is Wikimedia. I was like, okay, what is Wikimedia? Why, why is everyone talks about Wikimedia? What is that? Like, like I was like Wikipedia, and why, why they are mentioning Wikimedia? What is that? Like, I didn't even know that. So, and during that uh, conference, it was one session from the Polish uh, team uh, about their wiki expeditions, and it was. They presented that they visited villages, they take pictures, they upload it on commons, they afterwards use it on, uh, uh, in the articles, they create uh, uh, like uh, uh, later Wikidata uh, after that it was created. So it, was, it, it gives me like inspiration. Okay, I will, uh, I will return to my home and I will start doing that, like just from that uh, being on that session. And uh, after two years, it was 2014, uh, we started like, with the first plan of the Wiki Expeditions, that is the project that is still running, uh, visiting and documenting uh, villages in Macedonia. But that is the project that we are doing uh, with the car. So uh, we started like that, but I was thinking, okay, we're doing that with the car, but I'm cycling. Why I cannot like visit my uh, like uh, villages, like villages in my municipality with my bike and to take uh, uploaded those uh, images on uh, on commons. So I started doing that, and it was quite fun. Like uh, it, it has like some purpose of my cycling. It, it is not just I cycle, but I also like contributing to Wikipedia with uh, countless uh, of images and uh, Wikidata uh, uh, items and Wikipedia articles. So it was quite fun for me and also like uh, like uh, good for Wikipedia and like uh, for the for the visibility of those villages on internet in general. And uh, in 2016, it was uh, first. Uh, organized, uh, I can say, a Velo expedition. A velo, it means from the French, it, it is means like bicycle, so it is connection with that. So I gather a group of people, like uh, enthusiasts who also wants to cycle, and uh, we went to, to the remote locations, uh, which is very good with the dirty roads. You can go uh, with, uh, with your bikes and uh, to take an image because even with the car, sometimes it's very hard to, to get, uh, to get uh, from, uh, like, uh, images from those uh, villages. Uh, here is the image like how I looked during this uh, Wiki uh, Vela expeditions, like uh, when, when I start. This is like 2016. Uh, after it is uh, like I, I started like doing on without an idea, but uh, afterwards I started to create a model like uh, what I need to do like first. So it's basically and uh, I talked with uh, 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 Maxim from France about uh, that. Like uh, he asked me about how it is like uh, to create an expedition or how to start something. It is. Very, uh, you need to research. 
So the research is the base that you need to do before. At home, you need to, uh, like to know the locations of those objects that you want to visit before that. So I know it's, like, it's hard. It's not like uh, uh, now uh, uh, pretty much enjoyment, like, oh, I will just go and uh, I will take an image from everything. But uh, you need to do the homework before that. So I started to do that, like to mapping uh, before that, before going to take an image uh, from uh, from that uh, uh, like uh, trip that I want to do. So it first you need to to make a route, to make a, 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 like locations of those objects that you want to visit. Uh, then to gather the people, uh, it's uh, better with uh, uh, when you had a group. Uh, it, you cannot do it like uh, your own. Yeah, you can, but uh, if you want to be like in more uh, concrete way and to, like to to cover more villages, then it's uh, it's a good to be a group uh, of people, and. Afterwards, it's to create like uh, uh, like uh, to uh, to to find the materials either digital or to go in the libraries or uh, whatever or just to search Google because uh, we are like very uh, not digital country so I spent a lot of uh, searching on Google but not just searching on Google on the first play, uh, page. I went to go uh, 10 or 15 pages like to find anything that is connected with that like uh, finding material and uh, uh, we're joking that I'm now like uh, an expert to find the church in in a village uh, on a satellite image like uh, without uh, like uh, like uh, without any 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 concrete like uh, like uh, steps like because it's it is very hard i don't i know i don't know uh, like uh, in uh, in uh, in in maybe in your country it's, it's very easy that but in our country it's very hard to find a village in the abandoned uh, in in a church in the abandoned village to find a, a, to find that object is very hard like uh, in sometimes you need to to go like uh, in 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 the forest and uh, th that is uh, covered with uh, vegetation and already it is like uh, like not even recognize recognizable to to find it that that it was church uh, during uh, my research and like during my expeditions i uh, it is like old school i am uh, bringing my pen so I'm writing down like uh, what I visit, what I covered, what uh, I uh, what I not. So it is uh, a, a, like uh, not Wikipedian uh, style, like uh, in digital way. Uh, also, like uh, you uh, like taking an image, like uh, from the from the uh, from the that uh, object that you want to take. Uh, here is the uh, group. Of friends that uh, we visited, and it is it has nice story about here, uh, and that's why I posted uh, this image. It's not that, that we are. Uh, this is one of the first uh, whale expeditions, and uh, on another like side of this uh, lake, which was artificial lake uh, created uh, 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 like uh, just uh, 50 years ago, and in uh, they uh, uh, the, the it was a, a it was a village be, uh, like uh, like uh, before uh, the before the lake, and uh, the church is still intact, uh, and uh, it, it was no record in the official list of churches or documentation that that church exists there. And when I found it, I was like, oh, this is completely new. So and that practice when you found something that it, it is not on any list before that it it sometimes it feels that you're original researcher which is uh, like on the border with the wikipedia policy uh, to know like uh, do you have a right to write about that like be because i discovered it or like <laughs> It is not that I discovered it, but uh, I first made uh, an image from that uh, church or from that object. So sometimes it's like it brings you like a joy that like your work is 
significant when you, you can even say that you found something and uh, like uh, you make an, a documentation of something that nobody uh, before that like documented. And uh, so my, my purpose of this session is not like just to promote myself and like that. So it is not uh, like uh, uh, about that, but uh, to, uh, to give you like uh, an, an idea for, for you when you're going outdoors, like uh, you're going like uh, in your villages or like in your country to take an opportunity to take uh, that image that you just coincidentally maybe you wanted to take it or like uh, just to uh, you take that f uh, photo and afterwards when you're returned to your homes uh, you just think about okay maybe i can check if that uh, image exists on commons or not if that object is already on commons or not because doing that you are creating local content so and that is, I think, the most viable thing about Wikipedia to create your local content. And especially if, uh, like, doesn't that exist on any language, that even it is more viable than uh, just to create, uh, I don't know, like translation of the article about the famous uh, uh, movie or something like that. So creating local content, I think it is the most, uh, 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 like, uh, the, the, the thing that you can, you can provide to Wikipedia and to, to the society. So also my advice, picture from everything and to, to make um, numerous pictures, definitely no. So just maybe one good quality of uh, that like object uh, and not to creating like any like, uh, like a gallery of uh, like from every side, but numerous and that, that's it, it is not important. Uh, so far, we had like uh, I I created like uh, and I held uh, nine uh, official whale expeditions. You can say uh, it was also many more uh, short uh, uh, like uh, events that uh, I, uh, I I went to to some churches and uh, to some villages. Uh, uh, I created during this like 400 articles and uh, 1,000 uh, images that I about it on commons uh, and uh, also like uh, this is my message to all of you if you're outdoor person uh, just uh, you can combine wikipedia with your hobby uh, because you will enjoy it uh, uh, like uh, views like that uh, and uh, you can contribute to, to uh, uh, wikimedia projects easily so it, it is quite, uh, quite, <laughs> quite good for you and uh, for the society and for Wikimedia. That's it. We didn't say anything about the trip from Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. So uh, what type of equipment do you take on such a velo expedition? Because I guess you need to stay quite light, so you cannot take like the biggest camera or your laptop with you. Yeah. So yeah. we saw the book, but uh, can you say yes, a little bit more um, about the equipment? Uh, no, I, I'm using just uh, my phone. Like it, I'm not using the, the camera. So yes, I'm using just uh, my phone and that's it. And about my trip, yeah, but that, that, that will be like a long session, maybe. <laughs> short version. Yeah, so it was six days from Skopje to Katowice, 1,100 uh, kilometers. Uh, uh, it was, uh, I, I was good. Uh, energy on high level, like uh, good uh, pace uh, without any major uh, mechanical or physical problems, injuries or like that. So that was good. Uh, only thing uh, that was not good, it was weather conditions. Uh, during two stages, uh, it was very hot, like on the Balkans, like scorching hot. 
uh, 42, 43, 44, like that. Uh, on during the fourth stage in Hungary, it was very windy. Like uh, when I said very windy, I was holding my bike with my power. Like it was like okay, this is going to be very hard. Headwind and crosswind, like on the side, like constantly. So that was horrible. Uh, but I made it. So it was it was good and not to, like fun to be at the end. Uh, it was uh, during the last stage when I started like after 30 kilometers, it starts heavy rain. So uh, like and a lot of trucks in Slovakia. And I don't know if you saw uh, I'm Millennial. So if you saw Final Destination movie, uh, that uh, that uh, part of that truck loaded with the wood, and so I ride behind those trucks. So it was okay. I'm that this is over. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna make it to Katowice. So that was like uh, like maybe horrific at the moment, but. Uh, uh, yeah, it was cold, it was wet during the uh, last stage, but I know it that uh, people were waiting for me in front of the venue. So I don't know, that gives me like uh, uh, an, an energy. And uh, because I'm using Garmin, uh, 10 people, uh, that is a cycle computer, and 10 people follow me uh, through the link uh, where I am constantly. And uh, they're giving me like uh, messages on Instagram. So when I stopped and they like, uh, okay, you're just 30 kilometers, you can go, you can go. Like, it was giving you like, an, like uh, energy to continue. How long did it take you? Six days. Six days? Yeah. Are you going back by? No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. No, uh, it is not that I don't have I don't have time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think this uh, this is so fun, especially the journey and how everybody could follow along. And I wonder if you have any ideas about how maybe we could use this as a recruitment tool to get new editors <laughs> excited about Wikipedia. I'm not joking. I don't know how big the overlap is between people who love editing Wikipedia and people who love endurance cycling. But it strikes me that doing like a joint ride to the next Wikimania or reaching out to local cycling clubs could be a really fun way to get new people involved in the movement. Yeah. I, I, uh, I didn't think about that, <laughs> but uh, I think it can be you used to it. Even though I have to mention that uh, we organized uh, two editatons with uh, uh, a cycling club in Macedonia. It was five years ago. I mean, they were not a cycling club, but yeah. uh, cycling enthusiasts who wanted to write articles about cycling and uh, other topics in general. Yeah. Uh, they, they tried to have about cycling infrastructure, like uh, the, uh, these terms. The last slide was very interesting and very important. You said that you, you, one can link the hobby to the Wikimedia projects, and that's very interesting. I have just a small remark regarding the documentation of buildings. Uh, what I have seen working with uh, cultural heritage people or the people, historians, uh, sometimes we need photographs of all the sites because buildings could be destroyed because of some problem fires and everything and so many of the historians are working with computer scientists to reconstruct the 3d images and thanks to the uh, images from all the sides uh, we can recreate the buildings uh, even if those buildings are destroyed. I mean, this is just, just no, a personal no, no, viewpoint. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I think that could be important because otherwise, people most of the time, people take the front, yeah, 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 the front of the, the front, building, yeah. uh, front facade, but not of the other side. So it could be, yeah. uh, for the historians, good, it's very important. Good, uh, good mention, yeah. yeah. Thanks. That is exactly what I was, uh, I was about to tell you. It's better to take like a few pictures, even if you don't have time. Because mm. as I like to tell, in France, for example, in 2019, Notre Dame Cathedral has been the subject yeah. of a fire. So one of the main jewels of a country 
was the subject of fire. So it can happen to, yeah. to any, any monument. Yes. And uh, it is important just to, to have some pictures, at least for an archive. And sometimes you even have some exclusive content with the details, the architecture details you can have. Okay. So. Yes, but making such a tour is always the ba finding the balance between those things, and you don't want to document only one object at a wiki takes or a tour like this. Yeah, it, it is you, you like need to uh, find the balance. yeah, like I even take, uh, taking just one image, it's uh, better to have no image. So that that uh, that is my approach sometimes. Yeah, you must be aware that after two hours of cycling, you often sit several hours in front of the computer labeling, <laughs> uploading, etc. You know it. Um, yeah, I also started taking pictures of my cycling tours, more focusing for the moment on natural moments locally. But it really brings you to areas where you never would go yep. without that. And that's really also interesting that you getting off the usual, the off the beaten path. So, thank you. Yeah, and I think the time it's passed, but yeah, just one question because the opening ceremony. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, like, uh, how do you make sure to not uh, cycle past uh, an object that you would like to visit and to document? How do you make sure not to miss it? Oh, uh, I, I often stopped and uh, like uh, I just check it the, the surroundings, but I, as I mentioned, it, uh, sometimes it's very hard to find them. Hmm. Uh, uh, at, at, le uh, at least in my country, it's, it's like uh, it is like uh, because we don't have it like uh, uh, coordinates and like uh, proper instructions like uh, for the location. So it is it is hard. But uh, as I, as I said, it is like uh, I it it can be like expert in uh, like skill that skill like about satellite images so <laughs> i get to used to it to, to find it uh, that object